Welcome to Simple Kids Crafts, episode 685, how to make studio furniture for your Monster High doll. Materials, plastic bottle, gift box or card box, skinny sticks, fabric, glue and scissors. Hi, we're going to start by making the seats and for the seats we're going to use fabric. We're going to cut the fabric using a little bottle cap and we are going to cover the bottle cap together with the fabric by putting a little bit of glue at the bottom of the cap and then attaching it to the fabric and then we're going to put a little bit of glue in the interior of the cap and slightly bend the fabric inwards. We're going to try to do this around the cap itself and then for the bottom part of the cap I'm going to be using a plastic bottle. I'm going to cut the bottle in half and then I am going to clean it up a bit. Afterwards, I'm going to shape it like a chair. Now you can do this with a plastic bottle and the cap that came with the bottle or you can use a different cap as I did. Once you have the shape that you want, then you will just simply take a bit of glue and at the top, go ahead and put the glue or you can put the glue in the cap itself. And once you have done that, then you can attach the cap to the bottom and that will be the chair. Now that we have the chair, we're going to make the table and to make sure that the length of the table is correct, I'm going to take my gift box and then I'm going to measure the skinny sticks to make sure that the table is a little bit taller than the chair. Then I'm going to take the little sticks that I have already pre-cut and I'm going to glue them into the chair itself. I had already um, these skinny sticks in a gray color and now I'm going to take the label for Monster High and I am going to attach it to the top of the table. And this is what the table looks like. It has the four legs as you can see and on top the label. Now we're going to do the bookcase and for the bookcase I take the other half of the lid from the gift box and what I'm going to do is to take pieces of cardboard and I'm going to measure the side of my gift box so that I can make pleats that are the same size and so that I can use those pleats inside of the gift box itself so that then I can have uh, all of the shelves that I need. Now I'm making the pleats by folding and, and then what I'm going to do is to use those pleats inside of the gift box but you can actually make the pleats in the middle of the box, you can actually make the pleats um, a little bit shorter or longer depending on how you want to configure your shelf. For my shelf I'm going to have three little shelves at the top and then I'm going to have a division in the middle of the shelf itself and then I'm going to have a side shelf. Now I have made a shape of a fan which has the same configuration or height as the pleat that I initially made and what I'm going to do now is to cut pieces that are the same length as the length of my gift box and I'm going to be using pleats just like this one. Then I'm going to take my box and I am going to measure to the side like this and I am going to go ahead and cut off the excess. Once I have cut off the excess, then what I'm going to do with my pleat is to put glue in it, in the middle of it. And you can do this with regular white glue as well. I'm doing it with a hot glue gun for the purposes of gluing it really fast. Then I'm going to put glue on the sides of my pleat and then I'm going to attach it. So that whenever you're putting these pleats in, it looks seamless so you don't see the top and bottom pleat. One thing that you can do is to cut off pleats that are a little bit longer on the sides like these ones and then put glue on each one of the sides so that when you attach it to the bookcase it looks like a continuous unit rather than attached pieces and also it reinforces the whole structure so I'm going to be doing that on my three shelves as you can see here and again the color that I'm using is matching the color of my box if I were using a white gift box, then I'll be using a white uh, piece of cardboard because I'm using a black 
gift box i'm using black cardboard and now i am going to go ahead and put the final little pleat as you can see i cut it off so that it will fit in one of the units and i'm going to put glue in it and i am going to attach this one right on the side and i'm going to put a little bit of glue on the side as well so that when i attach um, this shelf it will stay and i'm going to do that right now and that's the finished bookcase curio case whatever you want to call it and you can do these with any size doll not necessarily for monster high but any kind of doll for my last little mini project i'm going to take a piece of cardboard that has one side that is um, kind of like uh, shiny paper and i'm going to cut that off to the size of a picture frame that I found. And this is an optional project. I thought it was a little bonus for our little studio furniture. And I am going to put glue on the border. And then I am going to go ahead and I am going to attach my um, shiny paper or shiny cardstock and glue that on. And here are all the projects already finished. We have our table, we have two chairs, we have our bookcase, and we have our mirror. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this project and that you try it at home. And stay tuned for shout out time. For this shout out time, I wanted to say hi to all my friends from YouTube and also Facebook. And a special shout out to the Mommy and Gracie show. They are the doll hunters and they have reviews uh, for Monster High dolls, for American Girl dolls and different types of dolls every day. So please check out their channel and subscribe to them. Their link is in the description but also you can click on the stream. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!